Hello everyone, this is Jana Smakula here at Spellbinders and thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'll show you how to stamp a beautiful faux watercolor poinsettia background using our poinsettia holiday 3D shading stamp. This really is a very easy card to make and the more you practice, the better your result will be. It might look intimidating at first, but believe me, this is an easy project to make and it doesn't take more than 20 minutes to stamp. I'm going to start working on my project by stamping a sentiment in black ink. Pick the one that you like best and stamp it somewhere on your panel. I'm stamping mine slightly off to the right. I need to mention that you will need to use specialty ink and paper for this project. I'm using Arches Hot Pressed Watercolor Paper. This is high quality, smooth watercolor paper. Make sure to use watercolor paper and not regular paper as we will be adding lots of water and the paper must be able to handle all of that water. Do use hot pressed paper and not cold pressed as hot pressed paper is smooth and has very little texture and this is very important when you want to get a smooth stamped impression. As for the ink, I'm using Tsukineko Versafine Onyx Black ink. This is waterproof ink, so it's not going to bleed when it will come in contact with water. We will be adding a lot of water here, and it's important to make sure your ink will not react with it. Now that I have my sentiment in place, I'm going to work on my background. I picked a beautiful 3D shading poinsettia stamp. This is a wonderful image that already has shadows and highlights added to it, so you don't have to do a lot of work to make it beautiful. The work has been all done for you. I'm going to use Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers today in Mid Green, Olive Green, and Carmine Red to color this poinsettia. I will say it is a little bit difficult to figure out which sections need to be colored green, meaning our leaves, and which sections need to be colored red. It is, however, helpful to stamp this image in any ink color, maybe just black, onto a piece of scrap paper to make it easier to see which sections need to be green and which red. I've colored this stamp many times already, so I remember where the leaves are, but I would recommend you stamp it onto a piece of scrap paper first and use it as some sort of a guide. I used my markers, and you can use any watercolor markers for this technique and color the leaves as well as the petals. I also added a little bit of yellow to the flower center. You can use one marker for one color, or two markers, or even three markers if you'd like to add different shades of one color. I only have one red, so I used that, but for my greens I used a lighter and a darker green markers. Next I'm going to spray this image with water. Not too much, but not too little. And again, this is where practice makes perfect. Do make a few test impressions and count how many times you've spritzed your stamp with water and remember how much water you need to add to have the look that you like. Next, place your stamp onto the paper and be sure to let it sit there for several seconds. There's no need to lift it up right away. Do give the ink some time to transfer onto the paper. You can press down a little bit, no need to press down too hard. Then lift it up and your first faux watercolor poinsettia impression is ready. The beauty of this technique is that no matter what you do, no two images will ever look the same. There will be slight variations to each image. Now, don't rush to clean your stamp. There's still plenty of ink left there, so spray it with water once again. I'd say maybe use less water this time, and go ahead and stamp it again onto your panel, doing a second generation impression. Again, make sure to let your stamp sit on the paper for a few seconds to let the ink transfer onto the paper. I'm going to clean my stamp with a baby wipe and will repeat inking it up, spraying with water and stamping onto my panel until I have the entire panel filled with beautiful faux watercolor poinsettias.
Once your background is done, let it dry. Use a heat tool or set it aside and let it air dry on its own. I've trimmed my background to 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 of an inch and also created an A2 top folding card base out of brown cardstock. I have these fun photo corners from Scrapbook Adhesive and I'm going to use them to adhere my panel onto my card base. I'm adding a photo corner onto each corner of my panel and once I have all four in place, we'll adhere them onto the card. One last thing I want to do is to add twine. I'm going to wrap it several times around my card and we'll tie it into a bow. And our project is ready! Here's a closer look at this simple card created using Spellbinder's Poinsettia Holiday 3D Shading Stamp. If you have any questions about this project, please leave them in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Spellbinder's YouTube channel for more education and inspiration. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!